everyone, it's Olivia from Girly Bunches and in this week's video I'm going to be showing you how I made this creepy crochet cobweb which would make a fantastic decoration for Halloween and in this pattern you can make it as big as you like. I've just stopped after three rounds here just because I couldn't fit it in my screen. <laughs> if I did make it any bigger but you could make yours bigger and I will show you how. So to start off with we need to get four, um, eight posts into our into the centre with four chains between each one and each one of these posts is a double treble. I'm British so I'm using British terminology and that's what I call <laughs> I call that a double treble. So I'm going to start off with a magic loop and I'll put a video link in the description box down below on how to do a magic loop and into that magic loop we need to have like I said eight double trebles with four chain spaces between them. So I'll do four chains to replace the first double treble and then four more chains as I'll space between each of the double trebles and then I would start doing a double treble into the magic loop like that and then now I need to do four more chains one, two, three, four like that and again into the magic loop I'm going to do a double treble So I need to repeat that five more times so that I have eight of these posts, so I shall come back. So there we go, I now have my eight posts, I just need to finish up with four more chains and I can slip stitch into that fourth chain that I did to represent the double treble. So that's one, two, three, four. Slip stitch into there. And I'll just pull the hook out for the moment and my magic loop now needs to be tightened up by pulling that tail bit there. And as you can see, that pulls that up nicely. So that's our first round done. So now again, I'm gonna do four chains. And instead of having four chains between each of these posts, now I'm going to have six. So I'm going to increase that by two. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to do a double treble into the top of the double treble from the previous round. Like that. And then that increases that outer edge and gives us a nice cobweb look. I shall do that all the way around. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a double treble into the top of the next double treble around. It's starting to take shape, so I shall repeat that and come back to here. So I've done that round and so I just need to finish off by doing six chains. One, two, three, four, five, six. And again I'm going to slip stitch into that fourth chain from that second start of that second round just to finish that round off. And there we go, we're getting our cobweb shape now. So the next round will be essentially the same, but I'm going to finish on that round. So when I say essentially the same, what I mean is I need to increase the gap here by another two stitches. So this gap here is eight chains. And at the top of each double treble, I've done a pico stitch just to finish it off. So I've, I'll put a video link down below on how to do that pico stitch, but that's how we're going to finish it off. And if you wanted to make this bigger and bigger, you would just increase this, this chain space here by two each time. So the next round would be ten. 12 etc. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to chain 4 to replace my double treble. I'm going to chain 8 and I'm going to do a double treble again onto the top of that last double treble 
and then before I start doing my eight chains to move to the next space I'm just going to do a pico stitch which is three chains and then slip stitch down through the top of that stitch there and pull it through to give you that little pico stitch at the top and I've got a much more comprehensive video on how to do that in, in the links down below so eight chains two three four five six seven eight and then I'll double treble onto the top of that last double treble and another pico stitch like so and that's giving you that lovely cobwebby knobbly bit at the end so I'm going to keep going till I get round to here Okay, so I just need to finish off my round here. So that's eight chains. And then I'm going to slip stitch one, two, three, four into the fourth chain up like that. And then I can do my final pico stitch on the end there just to finish off my creepy crochet cobweb. <laughs> I'll just fasten that off. And there we go, there's our, our sew in those ends <laughs> and then there, I'll show you that one that I've sewn in the ends too, there's my cobweb, so not very scary cobweb, quite very cute really I think, so you know, you can make Halloween cute, it doesn't have to be all scary does it? So yeah, that's my creepy crochet cobweb video, I hope you enjoyed it, I'd love a thumbs up if you did and uh, tell me other things that you would love to see because I always open to ideas and you can leave messages down below in, in the message boxes or you can contact me via Instagram, Facebook or Twitter. I'm Girly Bunches on all three of those and uh, yeah subscribe if you haven't done so already. I would love you to subscribe and I hope you enjoyed this video so give me a thumbs up if you did. Take care for now and I'll be back very soon. Bye!